In Unit 3, we will have a closer look at parenthetical referencing. This unit is divided into five sections. Section 1. Major Styles There are two major styles and techniques of parenthetical referencing. The first major style is the author date method, which refers to the style systems named Harvard style, sometimes also Harvard referencing or Harvard system, APA style, and others. The second major style is the author title or author page method which refers to the style system named MLA style. It is important to note, since there are many variations of the aforementioned major techniques and almost every academic institution or even department follows its own guidelines, it is absolutely necessary to always refer to the applicable citation guidelines of the institution or department or the applicable style guides. For example, APA, ACS, CMS, MLA, etc. The following examples are for demonstration purposes and may differ from the specific citation standards of the institution where the research paper is written. Section 2. Academic Style Guides There are various academic style guides. It is important to note that the term Harvard style is used as a collective term for parenthetical referencing or as a synonym for the author date method. Section 3. Author Date Method or Harvard Style The following examples show how the author date method, respectively the Harvard style of parenthetical referencing, is used. Option 1. The in-text citation is placed in parentheses at the end of the sentence that is to be supported as shown in the following example. Option 2. The in-text citation can also be placed at the end of a part of the sentence that is to be supported, as shown in the following example. If the reference contains two authors' names, both authors are named and connected by AND or the ampersand. If there are more than two authors, all authors are mentioned the first time the reference occurs. Thereafter, only the first author is mentioned and amended by et al. If an author has published more than one publication within the same year, the date of the year is amended with a lowercase letter. Square brackets or a virgule are used in order to show the original publication date if you are citing a reprint. If you are not referring to a specific page but to the entire publication, you may omit the page. If a publication does not carry a date of publication, there is ND for no date of publication. If a publication is not paginated, there are two options, stating NPEG for not paginated or counting the number of the cited paragraph. Used or cited sources have to be listed in an unstructured bibliography or an unstructured list of references as follows. Section 
Section 4 Author Title, Author Page Method or MLA Style The author title or author page method recommended by the MLA style guide is used in a slightly different way to the author date method. The parentheses of the reference include the author's name, a short version of title, if there is more than one piece of work by the same author, and the page, as shown in the following example. In the bibliography or list of references, the reference is listed as follows. Section 5. Advantages and Disadvantages Parenthetical referencing has its advantages and disadvantages. The advantages are the abridged information of the reference is immediately available at the end of the sentence. It is space-saving in comparison to the footnote, which requires a whole line. It gives the work an Anglo-Saxon modern image. It is perfect for researchers who are familiar with the cited literature. It is time-saving since the referencing is done during the writing process. The disadvantages are, it provides limited information. The reader has to refer to the bibliography or list of references in order to obtain the full information on the reference. It may distract the reader. It may impede the readability of the text. It requires an unstructured bibliography or list of references. It implies an additional effort if more literature of the same author will be added at a later point in time.